So, y'all, I came across a story on Instagram uh, shared by The Shade Room. We're going to get into that post here in a second. I'm going to use this story to show what I be trying to say about the facade that black people have in our minds about what institutional racism is and the camaraderie of institutional racism that takes place within the American 3K. Don't get this shit fucked up, government. All right, I'm going to be sharing this from my Instagram uh, page. Y'all just hold on, hold on. I'm on, I don't lost the damn. Let me find this shit again. If you're not following me on Instagram, links in the description box to follow me on Instagram. I mean, it would be when I'm looking for some shit. It ain't wanting to come up. And I should have just reposted it on my page. But it came from the Shade Room out of Texas. Let me explain a couple things. Here we go right here. Let me explain a couple things. Using this, and the headline reads here, Texas Governor Abbott says he will hire Border Patrol agents who lose jobs because of the uh, because of whip controversy. I will hire you now. There is some, you know, confusion about how white supremacy works. Black people believe that these people don't work together. There's all these great, good caves out here doing the right thing, loving black people, being non-racist. And that is an illusion we've set up for ourselves because we, we don't want to deal with the reality. The reality is too hard for us to, it's a too tough of a pill for us to swallow. And as that this entire society is okay with racist being in the positions within this government. America is okay with it. It's a uh, uh, population is okay with it. And there is an illusion that we have around voting that I also want to expose here. I'll read the caption first here. It says, while many were outraged when pictures of Border Patrol agents using whips on Haitian migrants surfaced, Texas Governor Greg Abbott felt compelled to offer those uh, those same agents jobs. Earlier this week, he told Fox News, you have a job in the state of Texas. I will hire you to help uh, Texas secure our border. He then continued to say that these pictures were of the agents maneuvering horses, not whipping people. The person who took these pictures said that the character, characterization uh, that the Democrats have made about the Border Patrol using them as whips, whipping people who were coming across the border is false. They were simply maneuvering horses. Now, what we have are people, the caves, that have decided that, hey, y y these guys ain't. They don't have the fucking cat of nine tails or nothing out there on these guys just whipping them on a fucking pole or nothing. They're just wrangling the horses, maneuvering the horses to move them around. Gathering these uh these black people up from uh, crossing the border, basically. What white supremacy has been able to do is to change reality to fit whatever perception that they want it to have. This is why I'm still astonished with the amount of black people who actually trust this government. Now, the part that I want people to see is these comments. Because see, black people confused because we don't work like that. We don't, you know, there isn't a like, hey, you know, they, you did some wild shit over here. You white, you were doing the job of white supremacy. So come on over here. I got something for you. You don't even worry about losing your job. Black people have taken pride over the last few years. I've noticed that a lot in getting white people fired from jobs. <laughs> we, we, we have really, really uh, tooted our, I mean, patted ourselves on the back and tooted our own horn as to getting white people 
caves fire from jobs. We think that be meaning some shit. This right here is exactly what I be saying when I y'all don't see me posting anything about a cave losing their job for being racist. Because I know there is no accomplishment that because of how white supremacy worked, how this governor, Greg, said what he said was, well, if you get fired from over there, I'll hire you over here. That's how white supremacy works. That's how it works. When y'all celebrating, you about to lose your job. Remember they were singing that song? You about to lose your job. White supremacy don't work like that. I would love for them to do a, a fucking where are they now on all the people that black people don't call themselves being a part of them losing their jobs for being racist. What are they doing now? There's never no necessarily no follow up stories on these people like that. Y'all be acting like their life is ruined and they live in under a fucking bridge somewhere. So y'all black folk get hype over this type of shit. Let's get to some of these comments. You got your middle fingers. It's one, one black girl say black folk who live in Texas. How the fuck do y'all do it? Next comment reads, vote him out of Texas. Now, here's the thing that black people got fucked up about this so-called democracy and voting. You believe that the caves in Texas are going to vote this white man out, this, th their fellow cave. Because of his uh, uh, overt racism? Y'all think that? You believe that the black people in Texas have the population size to vote a racist out? This is what you believe. This is why you sit around talking about voting the way you do. Because you believe there's power in that. Based on how democracy is supposed to work, and we know it doesn't really work like this. Majority rules. Majority rules. So, if the majority of the population in Texas voted for this racist motherfucker, what makes those, you know, 17 or 18 black folk in Texas think they're going to get them out? We have an illusion of power through this system that we've fallen for and that we allow to use it. Anybody speaking out against it, y'all treat us like we trash. Y'all not about to vote him out. The caves would have to decide they have a problem with his version of overt racism and vote him out. For somebody that's a little more subtle about their racism, like, hey, we don't want the niggas around here getting too riled up. You being too blatant. You got to be more subtle about it. We'll fill the prisons up with them at night when they sleep and shit like that. We we, we cool with that. But this, this shit you're doing, Greg, hey, Greg, this shit you're doing is too blatant. Them caves down there not going to bring in somebody who gives a fuck about black people. That's not how it works. And I don't know in what state this is happening in. I know that we fall for the illusion. Sometimes they'll push somebody black out. You know, you may get a uh, black police chief in somewhere. You know, we've seen these things happen. There's an illusion around this voting process. They talking about voting. I'll continue with the comments. This man here, LMAO, going to the deepest part of hell. Y'all still casting hell on the caves, ain't you? That's where they going after they die and shit. That's a powerful comment to black folk. Oh, he going to hell. His God is a cave. His Jesus is a cave. So are yours. Okay. So are yours. Next comment reads, wow, Texas, please roll him out of this office. <laughs> uh, I, I can imagine Texas being like, uh, no, like, bitch, what the fuck are you even talking about? Who are you? You black. You niggas too divided to do anything, really. Like, you're black. You're not voting him out of anything. And the caves here in Texas aren't voting him out of anything. It is what it is. There is a reason when they do these little uh, uh, most racist states in America, like this could be 
quantify <laughs> the only place where racism is existing is somewhere where there's mostly white folk. So there aren't any uh, documented cases of racism being uh, put out as much because there aren't any black folk. You'll have states that have a mostly white population. Of course, white folk aren't going to be racist towards each other. But they'll do these lists sometimes. When they do these lists, Texas is always in the top five. Why? Why do y'all think that is? Do you believe it's because black people are down there voting racist out of office? You think that's what's happening? <laughs> y'all not... Next comment reads, he don't even try to hide his racism. Hide it from, from who? The people who voted for him agree with him. These good white folk that y'all be talking about all the time, they agree with this. They agree with this narrative. Now, of course, they wouldn't want black people to see the racism. They don't want it to be as blatant, but hell, long as niggas are still, you know, partying up down there and and not focused down there in Texas, then they ain't really worried about what niggas is doing and what niggas is talking about and who they gonna vote out of office because they know they have no power. In what state in America are black people the majority? Name it. I wanna know what it is. Put me up on game. Give me the knowledge. It damn sure ain't Texas. So where does this state exist? Y'all think it's Georgia because of Atlanta. You think it's Texas because it's of, because of Houston. We have these illusions in our minds. Illusions. We put ourselves and we've taken our power and making it about a ballot. More comments. Vote them out. On November 8th, 2022, the people of Texas need to vote him out. This is black people begging caves to vote him out because you, you damn sure not talking about the black folk there. They don't make up enough of the population for the democracy, so-called, to work. You don't make up enough for the population for that to even work. This is not me trying to be negative. This is trying to get me to, this is trying to get, this is me trying to get you to see that there is no power in you trying to penetrate this system. You're doing everything but unifying with each other. We do everything but. You can cast the caves to hell. You can talk about voting racist caves out and replacing it with another motherfucker, uh, another racist ass cave that may be a little bit more subtle in they shit, or, well, we'll send, uh, we'll vote some nigga in there. They'll change it. How long have you been thinking that? How long are you going to be wrong about this before we decide to do things a little different? There is no black power in politics in a so-called democracy where majority rules. What is the majority population in America? Three Ks don't get this shit fucked up and incorporated. Somebody tell me, please. What's the majority population? So how are you going to vote? I mean, like, like, let's be real. We got these fantasies in our head about ways that we can do it without unifying. We can unify the vote. And that's power. There's no power in that. I'm sorry. It just isn't. You have people that will argue, well, you need to be voting for your state levels and your, you know, this is the governor. It's the governor of Texas, not a certain city in Texas. This ain't the mayor of Houston. It's the governor of Texas. Those caves in Texas agree with him. It is what it is. Stop trying to make it seem as though racist uh, uh, caves are a minority group. Like it's just seven of them. Seven bad apples. You know how I like that. You know, this, this type of talk. It's just about seven bad apples. You know. 
I hate these type of only in Texas. Yeah, right. Only in Texas. Black people have this hope. It's sad, really. If we don't fucking vote in November, we're done for. <laughs> Are y'all not tired of that? Like, and I'm not even trying to laugh at black people. But it's like, uh, listen to the stuff we say year in and year out. You, you're already done for because you believe voting is going to do something. You're done for. It ain't got you to do with November. You're done for now. Because you believe that you make up enough of the population to decide who's in control. <laughs> no. No. You have to be in a permanent state of unrest, black people. And this is not just the seven of us that be in a permanent state of unrest. This is black people as a majority. This will be talking about most black people. I don't give a damn if you six-figure black folk. The janitor doesn't matter. None of this stuff matters. Because you have people who represent, who are supposed to be representing black people. Like, say, for example, uh, Maxine Waters, who said about this, that this was the worst thing she's seen. Uh, this is worse than slavery, she said. <laughs> what happened with the Haitian uh, migrants down there was worse than slavery. This is your auntie, Maxine. This is the uh, black person that some of you uh, really, really support, Maxine Waters. Every time I say something about her, folk get mad at me. Every time. This is your one of your appointed spokespeople uh, for black people. And she said, it's worse than slavery. She's a Democrat. Supports Joe Biden. Not much to say about the crime bill. You know, Joe Biden got put out here. Not much to say about that, but we have to understand, we don't have militant black people in any positions of power. And militant black people won't be in positions of power. Because one, black folk not going to vote for. Even if the vote did matter, black folk not with militancy. We don't like that. We like for people to be pro-black in February. That's it. We like that. We don't have an issue with that. This is by and large. I'm not talking about, you know, a lot of times we act like, well, uh, it's 11 black folk out here that's pro-black, so, you know, this makes up for most. No, no, no. I know there's an illusion. Well, it don't take all black people. Y'all be out like you can get a thousand black people together, so-called pro-black, and do something. That's not reality. That concept has been thwarted generation after generation after generation. We need to have a consensus that we all are angry, upset, pissed off, not just on Monday. Pissed off about institutional racism. I'm not even dealing with necessarily individual racism. The nigger shit that, that seems to get y'all attention the most. It's the institutional shit. It's the fact that these white supremacists, they stay on code. A white supremacist is not about to lose his job and be jobless and not get any support. It doesn't happen. We've seen how this society will allow for, whether it be GoFundMes and shit, to be opened up for white supremacists. We've seen that. They support each other. They just do. We don't support each other like that. But then again, there aren't enough of us who are in the B123 mindset. There ain't enough. That shit look good online. I mean, 
as you commenting and shit, maybe, like, like in a couple of my videos, but I'm talking about as a real life mindset. It's not happening out here like that. Everybody's trying to secure a bag. And because you're so focused on the bag, the governor from Texas can come out here and say whatever the fuck he want. White supremacy can go out here and continue to run amok. Because all they know that all they got to do is give you a few dollars. And you might, you know, know, have a little bit of a problem, but you're not going to have a big problem. You're not going to have a big problem. Even our activists are out to secure a bag. So understand, black people, it's not that I just want to be negative towards you. You know, shatter your dreams. That's not what's happening here. That's not what's happening here at all. I want you to understand. I want y'all to understand how this shit works. These Democrat, Republican battles that they put on TV, which should be just like the fucking WWE to y'all. Did y'all see what Nancy Pelosi did? I shared this on my um I shared this on my Instagram page. Again, if you're not following me on Instagram, at least in the description box. I'm gonna speak this and I'm, I'm gonna get off here and leave y'all alone because I know y'all ain't listening to me no matter what, right? Here we have Nancy Pelosi. Headline reads Pelosi reverses stance. Dems to vote on bipartisan $550 billion infrastructure bill. All this reads is that Nancy Pelosi works for America. 3Ks don't get this shit fucked up, incorporated. And they are bailing out their big corporations again. That's really all that says. What you have to understand is that these people have a very serious fuck niggas get money policy. And most black people have adopted this same policy, which is why we end up in this uh, perpetual state of stagnation, constantly begging white folk to notice us and recognize our lives as important. This is why we end up here. Because we have the same mindset. And if you're confused about bipartisan, that just means the Democrats and the Republicans, they're going to agree on this. They're going to call, they're going to do what they call reaching across the table to come to an amicable solution for infrastructure. Now understand when we're talking about infrastructure, they're talking about rich corporations. That's all they're talking about. Now, they can make it seem like they're talking about you because they use the word infrastructure. You think, well, that's the interworkings of, you know, this system. That's us. That's the people. No, you're not the interworkings of the government. I'm sorry. You're not. You're just not the interworkings. You're the working. I mean, we're working our ass off out here, but you're, you're not infrastructure. That's not you. You don't require it to be you. They can use the word. They can say it. But you're not requiring that they actually deal with you. This is the word they use to make it seem like they're doing something for everybody. And we even saw on Joe Biden's so-called uh, relief shit that he did. Most of that went to big corporations. It just is what it is. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's almost like they put the news right out here in front of your face. I'm just trying to show you how to interpret it. That's all I'm doing out here. How to interpret this? What the fuck are you voting about? It doesn't make any sense. You're not voting any any racist out other than for them to be replaced by another racist or a coon-ass puppet. That's all you're getting. That's what you're, you're telling this government. Well, keep playing these games. We still believe in the games that you're playing instead of us being like, man, fuck all this shit. Fuck all this shit. You can't be mad that a white supremacist is going to hire other white supremacists, like other races. Like, 
black folk, you can't even be mad about that. You can't be mad about that. You can call out the hypocrisy of America, but being mad about them looking out for each other, I don't know if you if it's even fair for you to do that. I don't think you can do that to them. They're doing what they're supposed to do. Looking out for themselves, as they always do. You just believe you are part of the themselves. You you falling for the illusion that you're a part of that. You're not. You think you are. Because you out here securing a bag too, right? And this unity shit everybody be talking about is, is just, that's an illusion. No, what's an illusion is you thinking voting is about to get some racism the fuck up out of this country. And that's actually been proven. The unity one, y'all won't test it out to even prove it right or wrong. Y'all just say it's wrong. You won't even test it. It requires actual work. Not like voting. And you believe because they're trying to stop you from voting and that means that they threatened by you. Hmm. They have the ability to either buy, strong arm, you know, or just threaten uh, anybody they put in these positions. This is just how it works. We've allowed the government to become this corrupted. And we still fall them for it. And they're going to give out some money. $550 billion telling you niggas we ain't got money for reparations, bro. I don't know what y'all niggas talking about. We ain't got that. Look at the, look at the deficit. They like to throw that word out here, too. Look at the deficit. Got y'all believing in inflation. They, they got us believing in so much bullshit that we think is real. When the shit only exists here on Earth. <laughs> like, it exists here on Earth where literally people can do whatever the fuck they want to do, but instead... They put constraints on themselves, make us believe in those constraints. And we'll say shit like the president's hands is tied and he can't do this and he can't do, you know, that Timothy Mallory shit. You might be on that or what y'all did for Obama. Y'all love that shit. But these are the game. This government works as a team, man. The governor in Texas ain't no different than Nancy Pelosi. It's the same. You're dealing with the same motherfuckers. They don't give a fuck nothing about your black ass. You just believe they do. And it's about time you snap out of it. It really is. It really, really is. Like, we have to snap out of this mentality or we're not going to get nowhere. We're just not. We've been stuck in this place for a long time, believing in this system and believing in its effectiveness. If we just do it the right way, if we just politic the right way, it's corrupt. There is no right way. It's a corrupt system. Therefore, you unify and be in a state of rage at all times. That's what you do. I mean, I, and again, I don't want you equating rage to violence. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about actually being upset as opposed to being fake mad. As opposed to typing in all caps, go vote in November. That's fake, man. Like, what the fuck is that going to do? Making black people understand the state of emergency that we should be operating in. As opposed to all this fuckery that we get into. That's what we have to do. That should enrage black people. Not only seeing what America is doing. Three K's, don't get this shit fucked up, incorporated. But how we are deciding to fight this system. Telling them our lives matter and going to vote. That's it. That's been our method the entire time. Since civil rights. And y'all didn't vote for civil rights if you, you know. Pay any amount of attention. 
that was black people that was mad. <laughs> so I would think anger worked a little bit more, but nah, we, we don't we don't use that method. We think voting is gonna do it. <sighs> but that's all the fuck I wanted to say, man. I ain't gonna talk y'all's fucking head off. When I saw that, when I saw the comments, I'm like, what the Texas governor, like, what what the fuck is what what do we believe? What is this? What is this that we believe about this government still? Why are we still uh, under this illusion about this voting shit? How is that still happening? Why is that still working? But if you look at the reality, as opposed to this inflated ego that black people have about how powerful our vote is, You'll see. Nah. It ain't really all that. It ain't really all that. When we make these motherfuckers nervous, it's when we together and mad about the same fucking thing. Now, I hate that y'all only choose police brutality to be mad about, but that energy. When we mad about the same fucking thing. And even then, it ain't enough of it. It's enough of us, if you ask me. When black people decide to be mad about the same fucking thing, that's power. The rest of this shit, nah.